one of the messages that I, that I keep on sharing with you is the importance of being consistent in the creation of your content, right? But one of you asked me, George, I'd like to get into a rhythm of con uh, consistent content creation, but what if I get bored of my own content? And secondly, what if I can't find different enough ways to keep saying the same message? Because essentially, you probably have just a couple of messages, core messages that you want to get out there, and you're going to have to find different ways of saying it. So what if you can't figure that out? So if you have these same questions of how do I figure out different ways of saying the same things, and what if I get bored of my own content, then this video is for you. All right, so let's actually start with how do you figure out different ways of saying the same messages again and again. So one of the interesting things about human beings is that there are certain core ideas, uh, some people would call them archetypes, that we just don't get tired of hearing about and reading about and watching, okay? Um, it's the hero's journey, okay? The hero's journey is well known as, the, as being the core of how, what is it, millions of movies, tens, hundreds of millions of books, maybe, you know, everything is the hero's journey. And how long has the hero's journey been around? I, I don't know what the history of it is, probably thousands of years, maybe longer than that, right? It's this idea of uh, you um, feeling discontent about some area of your life, and then you um, leave home, leave your comfort zone in order to find some new way of living that will solve your discontent. You go through some, you have to fight some monsters, uh, solve some challenges, and then by the time you return home or back to, you'll eventually find yourself back to where you originally were, but now you're smarter, wiser, more loving, more virtuous, or you know, whatever it is, right? Have a, have a better community, better relationship, better job, better, you know. So the hero's journey is one of those, one of those core um, uh, stories that that can be told billions of different ways and still people want to hear it. Okay. Um, music uh, is another example. Uh, all of you have heard of the Pachelbel's Canon. You don't, maybe you don't know what the name is, but it goes, dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that song is based on a chord progression that has been repeated in millions of pop songs and rock songs. And dun 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 dun. I mean, it's it's the same chord progression, but people just keep playing it with now with you know electronic music previously it was rock guitar previously it was strings i mean it's been repeated for hundreds of years in millions of songs and people don't get tired of that same basic story so same thing with your own message what is your message what's your core message in fact i invite you to comment below if you like maybe your core message is self-care okay you've got to learn to not forget yourself as you help other people Okay, and you've got to, self-care, I mean, it's, it's, it's a single message, you might say it's a topic, but it's, it's a single message of don't forget yourself, don't forget to take care of yourself, and it, it has created millions of coaching businesses, <laughs> you know, it has created tens of millions of, of blog posts and videos it, it, on, the comp, on the topic of, of, of self-care. Um, maybe there's another topic, uh, maybe you are a uh, you know, I don't know, you're, you're a career coach. And what is the core topic in career coaching? Um, you know, go where you're respected. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I don't help people with finding jobs or whatever, help with building businesses. But that's, that's essentially my core message in business too. Go where you're respected, right? Don't try to sell to people who don't care. Build an audience that cares about you and then sell only to them, right? That's, you know, and so that's, that's, you could say, that's my message that I keep saying again and again. When it comes to content, my message is the same. Create authentic, relevant, 
consistent content. How many times can I say that to you? And you don't get tired of it because you need to keep hearing it again and again and again. And every time I say it, even though I'm saying the same things, authentic, consistent, relevant content, every time I say it, unless I'm reading a script and it's the same script I'm reading, it's gonna be different, <laughs> okay? Obviously, I'm not gonna read the same, same words. You know, I gotta write a blog post, I'm gonna keep reading it to you five times, no. That's going to bore me and that's going to bore you. But I'm just going to have the same basic ideas, even the same basic words. But I'm just going to turn on the Facebook Live and just talk to you about the same idea. You don't get tired of it. I don't get tired of it because it's such an – until I see that everybody around me is perfect and has created perfect businesses that have authentic, relevant, consistent content, I'm not going to get tired of telling it to you. And you're not going to get tired of hearing it. So, and of course, once everybody around, if all of you have perfect businesses with authentic, relevant, consistent content, even then I'll find another way of saying it that will take you to the next level, right? So we'll never run out of music, even though everybody's using the same chord progressions, right? More or less the same. I mean, there's only a certain number of chord progressions in the world. Even if it's in jazz, you only have a certain number of, you know, um, E sus seven or whatever. I mean, you could you can only have a certain amount of chord progressions. Maybe there are what three hundred chord progressions if you're looking at roping in jazz now, three hundred. But still, now there's billions of songs, right? So so we'll never run out of music. We'll never run out of literature. We'll never run out of mo movies. So how can you run out of the different ways to, t to talk about your core message? Life keeps changing for you. And so you'll always find a different story about life to, 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 to say what your core message is. And thank you, Stacy, for your comment here. It says, I'm tr what if we're trying to find out our core message? Great. So, so I, first of all, I should say this. I started creating content before I knew what my core message was. So that's the secret here is you don't try to figure out your core message before you start to say it. You open your mouth and see what comes out and you open your mouth enough times. You put your fingers to your keyboard enough times until you start to see a pattern of what you say all the time. Like I didn't know my core message was authentic, relevant, consistent content until I, until maybe a hundred videos in. 100 videos and 100 blog posts later, I look back and go, what do I keep saying again and again? Oh, oh, I talk about authenticity. Okay, all right, I've noticed that. Oh, I talk about being relevant to one's audience because you care. Oh, I talk about being consistent. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to come up with something. I'm going to come up with authentic, relevant, consistent. I came up with that out of looking at the things that I kept saying. So let me know if that makes sense. So you just have to open your mouth and notice, okay, so here's, here's the thing you got to do. As you go through life, as you work, if you have any clients, as you work with your clients or as you work with your friends on the things that you want to build a business on, if you don't have clients, rope your friends in and says, I'm going to do my thing on you, okay? Because I'm passionate about this thing, about this skill, about this modality, about this idea, whatever topic, I'm passionate about it. I love to, I would love to talk. I would love to make a living talking about it. So that's my question for you. Stacy and others who are here. What would you love to make a living talking about? What could you talk about all the time, every day, you know, every day that you work? What could you work with people on? What would you love to do? Talk about that. And after you have gotten enough blog posts or videos, you will notice the patterns, which becomes your core message. And here's another good news about all this is your core message will evolve. Or I should say, not necessarily, but allow the fact that your core message may evolve. My core message, I've been in business for 10 years. When I first started uh, my business, I just started helping friends with the thing that I love doing, which is I love working on social media. I love working on marketing. So I started helping friends with it. And I started noticing the same thing I kept saying to them, which was keep it simple. You don't have to be so complicated and think about you have to do 10 million things. Keep it really simple. Just use this. Just try this. And then my friend said, thank you. That was so helpful. I'm like, oh, that was my core message. So another way you can find your core message is that your audience will tell you what's helpful. I, I, now, by now, I have maybe, I don't know, 10, 20 core messages 
right? But I only know the certain things you like. So then I'll, I'll keep focusing on the things that are relevant to you and that I like talking about, right? So talk about the things you like talking about. Help your friends, if you don't have any clients yet, help your friends with the things you like helping people with. If you have clients, notice what's helpful to them, okay? And that is what your core message is. And then your core message, as I've said in this video thus far, can be said an unlimited number of ways as long as you are alive, as long as you're not reading, literally reading a script, right? As long as you're not literally copying and pasting your own thing. You just saying the same thing by default, you'll say it differently. It just comes out different. Every single time, it comes out different. The other thing that's really important for me to say here is that um, uh, <clears throat> as you work with clients, as you work with friends, whoever you're working with on the thing that you want to do, right? You'll notice that even though you're using the same skills, the situations will keep on evolving over time. Why? Because culture evolves. Because culture evolves, because society evolves, which is even faster than ever before. This year's issues were not the same as last year's issues, or not the same as the previous year's issues, right? Because culture and society keep evolving, the way you apply your core message, the way you apply your core modality is also going to keep evolving. The way that you, and when it comes to content, the way that you talk about, the thing that you love talking about is going to keep evolving. So just by default, you don't even have to try. You just say the same thing over and over, but it's going to be different every time, okay? Okay, for example, I've said the same thing over and over in this very video, but every, if you notice, every minute this video has gone on for, what, 12 minutes now? Look at every single minute. Have I literally said the same words? Sometimes, right? But it's, it's different every time. Even my facial expressions and whatever, it's going to be different every time. Okay, even though my background's the same, Sometimes I'm wearing the same shirt. My message keeps saying it keeps being different. Okay, so let's address the um, and thanks for those of you who are live here with me and mentioning what your core message is. Rebecca and Lindsay, um, thank you, Louise and Jill uh, and Stacy. Okay, so what should we be concerned that we might get bored with saying the same thing over and over again? Just to remind you, I made five videos and five blog posts per week in 2015, part of 2016, five per week. I don't have that much to say, but I made five per week and I just turned on the camera and it just always came out different. And the same thing will be true for you when you turn on the camera. And, and I should say, it's easier to do live videos like I'm doing here on Facebook Live because if you notice, if you scroll back to the very beginning of this video, I made, a, I made a stumble right in the beginning. If I was pre-recording this, I would have stopped it and tried again, and I probably would have stumbled three minutes in, and I would have stopped it and tried again. Right? So seriously, live videos are the easiest because you just have to keep going even though you stumble. Right? So just a big, big tip for you. Um, so what happens if – what? how do we deal with the possible boredom of our own content? Okay. Number one. As you create, as you force yourself to create, as you click on the go live, okay, if you're doing a Facebook live video, or as you start, start writing, okay, and as you keep your butt in the seat and keep writing, the willingness to overcome the blank page if you're writing, the willingness to click on go live if you're video, recording a video or if you're pre-recording, the willingness to keep recording until you get it right is a fascinating experience because it is every blog post that I write, okay, which I'm going to, um, I'm recording this video now and then afterwards I'm going to put in the blog post that I've already written uh, in, prepar in preparation for this video. Every blog post that I write feels like a miracle to me. Have you noticed this? Do you, those of you who write, have you, have you noticed this? Like you start with a blank page and maybe you start with one idea or two or three ideas, whatever it may be. When my viewer asked me the question of how do I keep saying the same thing over and over? Okay, how do I figure out different ways of saying it? And how do I not get bored? I basically had like two or three things to say. I had like maybe th two paragraphs to, to write on that. 
that's what I went to bed with last night. I wrote two paragraphs. I said, like, I don't know. I guess there's two things you could do. And then this morning, as I forced myself to write the blog post, I had those two paragraphs there. And I said, well, there must be some, let me unpack this. Uh, what about this? What about that? What, might there be a question here about this? So as I unpack the two paragraphs, it has become, uh, what is it? It's become probably a, well, almost a thousand words. It's a miracle to me how that happens. It's fascinating because I made myself keep writing and I made myself keep asking quest myself questions. It's the muscle of curiosity that you're going to have to practice by forcing yourself to stay in the chair. Now, I'm, I'm not always seated when I'm writing. Sometimes I'm standing up and every 10 or 15 minutes, I force myself actually to get up and walk around, make breakfast, go out, outside uh, the, the door for a stretch. So, so I, I move my body a lot, um, even when I'm writing, every 15 to, to 20 minutes or so. But as I keep on coming back, keep on coming back to the computer until the blog post is done, it's a miracle to me. I don't know how the thousand words came out from the two paragraphs that I had. But if you keep on coming back, keep on coming back, that miracle you will experience. And that is called the muscle of curiosity and the muscle of creativity. And when you, ex and when you exercise those muscles, when you force yourself to keep coming back, keep writing or keep speaking, it is not boring. Because you, 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 will be, you will surprise yourself every day that you create content. Okay, that's number one. Those muscles are number one. Number two is as you, and that, that, that might be enough, honestly. Just you fascinate yourself every day by that muscle of curiosity and creativity and just like, how come this thing came out? I don't know how it, where it came from. Okay. Secondly, as you keep doing that and as you keep building an audience, as you do this and build an audience, your audience will start to engage with you and your audience will start to tell you which of your pieces are interesting and which of your pieces are really helpful to them. And that feedback of this was helpful or this changed my life or, or simply this was interesting will keep you going. But, but, the, but, but that audience engagement as fuel doesn't happen until you first generate your own fuel by practicing the muscles of curiosity and creativity because you're going to have silence for months. You're going to write dozens of blog posts and nobody will respond. You will make dozens, maybe hundreds of videos and no, not nobody, but maybe one person will respond every now and then. And it's, you know, your best friend. Okay. One person will respond and it's your neighbor who wants to be nice to you for dozens or hundreds of blog posts until you have actual potential clients responding. Are you willing to get there? That's my question for you. It's a, the secret of success, right? We all know this. It's been said, again, yet another core message that's been said millions of different ways, persistence. But what I believe in, what I believe in is joyful persistence, not the, not the persistence of hustle, and grinding, and pain, and suffering. I believe in the persistence of curiosity, and creativity, and joy. Okay, and, 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 and digging within to find that curiosity, and creativity, and joy is the fuel that you only really need. But as you keep using that unlimited, that fuel, which is an unlimited well within yourself, as you keep on using that fuel, okay, as you keep on digging that well, you'll eventually come to, a, come to a, another place where you get the engagement, which is a secondary fuel for you, is the audience engagement. Okay. So I hope this is helpful. It's gone on for about 20 minutes now, so I want to I let you go. And I uh, just want to thank again Louise, uh, Stacy, Lindsay, Rebecca, uh, Jill for joining me here live. And those of you watching this later, just I welcome your comments below. If you find this interesting, what part of it was interesting, I'd love to know. Or if you have any other questions that you'd love for me to address, I come up with this content based on your questions nowadays, thankfully. So let me know. Um, I wish you a good rest of the day. And remember that uh, you 
can't predict how fascinated you will be by your own rhythm of content creation until you commit and actually do it. Uh, one last thing I'll say is it's like standing in one place, looking at the horizon and say that, oh, this is all there is. You stand in one place, you look around and, oh, this is all there is. I can see the horizon. This is the whole world. No, it's not the whole world. You're seeing one trillionth of a percent of the whole world. As you start walking, as you start moving, as you start taking action, the horizon keeps receding. You're like, oh my God, there's so much more to see. That's where you are now with your content. You think you know everything? You, you think you're going to get bored? <laughs> Give me a break. You have no idea how fascinating you are <laughs> and how much there is to see. But you've got to take action. You've got to start talking. You've got to start recording. You've got to start writing. And the horizon will keep receding. And you'll see how much more there is to see. I wish you curiosity. And I wish you the the uh, glimpse of the unlimited well of your creativity. I look forward to seeing it. Take care.